Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to click that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. I would like to give a special thanks to South Motors Honda for giving me time with the 2022 Honda Civic Touring. If you're in the market for a Honda, you can come check out South Motors Honda and ask for Saul. He will get you into a new or pre-owned vehicle. But today's video, I want to know, is a new Civic worth buying? Let's talk about pricing here for the Honda Civic Touring. Starting price is at $28,950, including destination and options. This one stickers for $34,155. Let's talk about the front styling for this current generation of Civic. Looking at the front styling here of the Honda Civic Touring, as you guys can see, this one is the Touring model, so it looks more sophisticated compared to the previous generation. I do like the front styling. Honda did a really good job with the exterior styling here of the current generation of Civic. Looking at these headlights here, these are a multi-reflector LED headlight with an automatic low and high beam. There is LED fog lights here at the lower part of the fascia. This also has an LED turn signal and daytime running light. There's front parking sensors. There's the Honda emblem front and center. My model is painted in this platinum white exterior color, which is a $395 charge. It looks really good with the chrome and black accents throughout this vehicle. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about this current generation of Civic, especially in the Touring model here. But looking at the side profile, this has a 107.7 inch wheelbase with an overall length of 184 inches. So Honda did make this vehicle slightly bigger for this current generation. Looking at these tires and this rim design here, these are a 235 40 Eagle Sport tire. They're all season tire. They're wrapped in this 18 inch rim design. I'm a big fan of the multi-spoke finish here to the actual rims here. It looks really good with the white exterior color. Looking here at the mirror cap, this has this LED sight marker, and my model does come with this sunroof here. Unfortunately, Honda does not offer a panoramic option, but making our way to the rear of the Honda Civic, looking at these taillights here, they're gonna be an LED combination, which is an incandescent turn signal and reverse lights. Brake light is gonna be an LED. There's the touring badge here, there's the Honda emblem. There's also the Civic name, which is spelled out. There's rear parking sensors, and looking down here, there's no visible exhaust trim. Honda hides it underneath the rear bumper. Open up the cargo back here. This has 14.8 cubic feet of space, so plenty of space. But if, if you guys are looking for more space, I would recommend going for the Honda Civic hatchback, which has around 24.5 cubic feet of space. The seats also fold down in a 60-40 manner. And underneath the rear floor here, Honda does give you a temporary spare tire instead of a fix a flat kit. Looking at the key fob here for the Honda Civic, there's a lock, unlock, remote start, a trunk release, and also a panic button. This key did shrink for this current generation. That's also the Honda logo on back of the key fob. To start up the vehicle, just lock the vehicle and hold down the remote start button. And as you guys can hear, the vehicle will turn on. And to lock the door here, just rest your finger here. As you guys can hear, the alarm will go off or it will make a sound. And to unlock it, just put your hand behind the actual door handle. My model does have this black interior, which is really nice. It does look nice with the white exterior. But getting inside the Honda Civic here, since this is a compact uh, sedan here, it does have a really good step in height. As you guys can see, the electronics are currently off. Once you put your foot on the brake and press the start stop button right here, everything turns on you also have this nice fully digital display here if you guys go for a lower trim model honda would just have this half digital display while this would be an analog we're reaching over here to shut the door of the honda civic this also has the bose audio sound system but looking here at the door panel materials really nice material that honda uses here there's some gloss black trim with this aluminum painted door handle there's your window and lock controls here it is auto up and down only for the driver and passenger additional cup holder space there's parking sensors there's the stability control and there's the honda sensing you can also dim the lighting in, in the vehicle as well if the screens are too bright as you guys can see right there it says brightness there's the headlight and turn signal stock. The wind wiper stock is there. The rim does feel very thick here on, for the steering wheel. There's some nice high quality leather and stitching. There's some gloss black trim around the airbag cover here. And the, there's the Honda emblem, your driver's assistance, and your voice controls are here. There's some silver painted trim here. I like the steering wheel here. It feels really nice and high quality. You can also customize this digital display here. You can show different things like your range, also no content. You can customize the display here. There's also your driver's assistance support there, which shows you um, your lane departure, blind spot monitoring, real cross traffic alert. So you can turn it on and off if you would like. And you can also mess with this. So right now I have Drake playing here for the Apple CarPlay and it is wireless. We'll talk about the Apple CarPlay in a moment. You can customize this to your liking via the scroll over here. So you can customize this display here to your liking. Unfortunately, there's no heads up display. It's gonna be a soft touch ejection mode of plastic here. For the, upper part, for the upper part of the dashboard. There's a nine inch display here. Very bright and very, and very beautiful screen here. Going into the Honda uh, interface here, you can customize different things 
or you can you know drop do a drop and drag function for example i'm holding this it's going to basically let you go to the next screen and you know put all your different things and whatnot over to that screen you can hit done here now you have a black background instead of a light gray uh, background there's your trip computer this vehicle was saying nearly 400 miles when i first got into the vehicle and right now it's saying 395 miles which is really good a cruising range there's some buttons here for home back there's a volume knob there's a sync and track button there looking here at the honda navigation here really quickly um, let me just hit exit it's a really good system it's like a tom tom navigation most people might use their their phone as a uh, map instead of the actual embedded navigation uh, but going back here to the apple carplay very beautiful and bright screen i'd like the honeycomb here to the actual air vents very nice and sophisticated interior just like the exterior there's also three level heated seats unfortunately there's no cool seats you can't get cool seats at any price point here on the honda civic maybe in the other market but here in america we don't get cool seats as an option my iphone 13 pro max is, is in the wireless phone charger there's this little indicator here to let you know that the phone is charging there's two usb ports there's a 12 volt here putting the vehicle into reverse it does reveal a backup camera of course a trajectory with distance markers there's front and rear parking sensors this also has real cross traffic alerts we'll put the brakes on for you if it's sensing that there's something coming if you're not paying attention you put the vehicle into drive you kick it down to go back into park very simple there's two cup holders there's your drive mode selector which shows you sport normal and eco so it's only three different drive modes here in the civic there's an automatic start stop button electronic parking brake there's a brake hold button here there's this finger resistant trim here i also own a civic as well and this thing does leave fingerprints over time so you're constantly be wiping this area down here because it's a black plastic trim above me is going to be led lights out the cabin and there's also this standard size sunroof you can open it via this control here so it's a one touch operation it does let a lot of light into this cabin but unfortunately honda doesn't offer a panoramic sunroof option Maybe for the next generation, they should do it. But there's the sunglass holder here. The seats in here, they're supportive, they're comfortable. I like the nice leather that Honda uses. And like I mentioned, there are three level heated seats. Then there's no cool seat option. This area is gonna be nice and padded. Open it up, it does reveal a good amount of storage. You can remove this tray if you like. There's no USB charging ports in there. Looking at the glove compartment really quickly. It does offer a lot of storage. Once you remove the owner's manual there, overall like i mentioned really nice and sophisticated interior but let's get into the back seat getting into the back seat of the honda civic touring open up the rear door here as you guys can see plenty of space in the back seat even though this is a compact sedan here looking at the door panel materials pretty decent material there's some gloss black trim here with this aluminum painted door handle there's this fango resistant trim here the switch gear feels really nice this area is going to be nice and padded to rest your elbows on i like the nice stitching here there's also a, a cup hold here in the actual door pocket but getting into the back seat of the honda civic this is where I have the seat to drive. I have plenty of space back here. Honda says this has 37.4 inches of legroom. Like I mentioned, they did make the vehicle slightly bigger, so you do get more cargo space and more leg space in the back seat of the Civic. There's also two USB charging ports. There's some rear air vents here. You can also fit three people across, even though there's this hump here. There is one mat pocket for storage. The seats feel very supportive and comfortable. You can also fold the seats down to do a 60-40 split. Pulling this armrest down here, it does reveal two cup holders. And above me, there is this standard size sunroof and there's going to be led lights throughout the cabin even on the lower end models of the civic but overall the back seat of the civic does feel very spacious and very comfortable looking underneath the hood of the honda civic touring here this is a 1.5 liter turbocharged direct injection four cylinder this makes 180 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque it is hooked up to a cvt transmission keep in mind all civics still remain front wheel drive there is no all-wheel drive version of the civic here in america maybe in the other markets but here in america this one still remains front wheel drive and also there is a hybrid option but here in america we do not get the hybrid civic in the other markets they do unfortunately we do not get that but this vehicle still offers great fuel economy this is rated to get 31 in the city 38 on the highway and 34 combined and as the civic touring sits here it weighs in around 3100 pounds so starting off in the 2022 honda civic touring here let's talk about the powertrain this is a 1.5 liter turbocharged direct injection four cylinder it makes 180 horsepower and 177 pound feet of torque it's a really good powertrain um, me currently i do i do own the sport model of the civic which has the base powertrain if you have the base powertrain it's the lx and sport models which gets which gets the naturally aspirated four cylinder that's a two liter like I mentioned, it's a four-cylinder. It makes 158 horsepower and 138 pound-feet of torque. So it's a good powertrain if you don't like turbo options. But me personally, I think the turbo is going to be better because it moves the vehicle very efficiently. 
and I just like the powertrain delivery also. Like I mentioned, you may have more horsepower and more torque compared to the base powertrain. Let's talk about visibility here. Great visibility. The dash is very low. I like this 9-inch display. It does support Apple CarPlay and Android Auto with the wireless function. There's, this also has the Bose audio sound system, which is the first vehicle in Honda's lineup to get a different uh, stereo system compared to their premium uh, options that they offer, like a Neo Accord and whatnot. The steering feeling here is very playful with the car in its normal mode. The seats are supportive and comfortable. This is just a real this is just a well-rounded vehicle it drives good the fuel economy is right at 31 in the city 38 on the highway and 34 combined Un unfortunately we do not get a hybrid option here in america for the honda civic i wish honda would just offer it here in america because i think it will beat the toyota camry when it comes to i mean not the toyota camry i'm sorry it will beat the toyota corolla when it comes to uh sales in the hybrid segment because unfortunately honda does honda does not offer it but for this not to be a hybrid it still gets good gas mileage like i mentioned let's talk about the driver's assistance this also has rear cross braking uh forward collision warning with emergency braking lane departure blind spot monitoring so all the nice driver's assistance features honda does give it to you this vehicle just drives really good it's a great car especially if you're looking to you know put your family in here you know it can go on a long road trip but me personally i would just go for the hatch the hatchback version because it does offer more space compared to the 14.8 cubic feet of space that you get all the dimensions still technically stay the same with the vehicle but this vehicle just drives so good let's set the cruise control here and there's this little icon of the civic which pops up i'm going to set the cruise control here to 40 miles an hour which is the speed limit and you can just basically you know just take your hands off the wheel just for a few seconds but me per me personally i don't want to you know encourage that you know make sure you keep your eyes on the road because it's not technically a, a system that's just going to just drive for you like a tesla but it will display when it wants you to put your hand back on the wheel but it does a good job of keeping you centered in the lane and you guys can see there's this orange icon here saying stern required so just put a little bit of pressure in the vehicle we'll just go back to you know doing how you have you guys set the cruise control but you can cancel it out if you would like and it's so cool how Honda has a little uh, nice feature here of the Civic. It lights up once you put your brake or signal, which is really good technology. So that's some tech that you didn't get in the previous generation. And I just think it's really cool that Honda does offer little details like that. But putting the vehicle into a sport, a sport mode here. And like I mentioned, you can kind of hear just a little bit of the turbo whistle from this vehicle, which is really nice. Um, like I mentioned, I, I do own the base powertrain and me personally, I do want to switch over to the turbo now because I'm spoiled and I kind of drive these vehicles a lot, um, especially with the turbo option. But, you know, if you guys don't like turbo options, I think the naturally aspirated is a good powertrain, but it is lacking the horsepower and torque numbers compared to the turbo option here. Even though the two, even though the naturally aspirated is just a, just a little bit bigger compared to the 1.5 here, because if you go for the base powertrain, it's a two liter. But me personally, once again, I just think that, you know, this vehicle is a good vehicle, especially if you're trying to put your family in here. But the power delivery, once you get in the accelerator here, it's a good, it's a good power delivery. But if you guys are looking for an, an ultimate luxury that offers great warranty, reliability, and also durability and nicer tech, I think the Civic is still and one of the great picks in this segment. After spending time with the 2022 Honda Civic Touring, the question I asked in the beginning of the video is the new Civic worth buying? And the simple answer for me is gonna be yes, because this vehicle does offer great tech, also great fuel economy, durability, and reliability. And I think that the previous model was basically lacking some of those features. But hope you guys have enjoyed this review here. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at Drive One Reviews and hit that subscribe button and turn on post notifications. And I'll see you all in the next review.